the apple of his eye. These are the words used by God to describe this tiny land in the Middle East, Israel. Now Israel holds a unique and eternal place in God's heart. From the very beginning, he chose this nation and set it apart for his kingdom plan, to make it a nation, a blessed nation, and one that would fulfill prophecy. The existence of the modern state of Israel is seen as a fulfillment of God's promise to restore Israel to his land. And we are seeing Jewish people year upon year returning to the nation, just as God promised would happen. God made a covenant with Abraham. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. But this promise didn't end with Abraham. It continues today, and it's why Israel remains central to God's plans for the world. And it's also why we as followers of Christ are called to stand with Israel in prayer and love. When we pray for Israel, one only obeying scripture, we're aligning ourselves with God's heart. We're interceding for the land that God told us is important to him. Paul reminds us in Romans 11 that we as Gentiles have been grafted into the promises given to Israel. Now this doesn't mean that we've replaced Israel, but in fact have joined together with them and are now united with them in Jesus Christ. Their blessings, their struggles, their redemption, it's all part of the grand narrative of God's salvation, bringing both Jew and Gentile to know him. Brothers and sisters, now is the time to rise up as watchmen on the walls for Israel. Lift your voice, stand in the gap and pray with boldness, knowing that by doing so, you're aligning with the heart of God who adores his nation. So please join us in prayer today, not only because we are called to do so, but for his name's sake. God bless you and thanks for watching.